the way back to the hotel in the van, Paige is crying. I'm not, no, no, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm good, I'm Are you okay. Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday. Saturday! It's so nice waking up in a warm place where you wake up and you want to get out of bed, you know what I mean? Because, like, at home, I'm just like, ugh. Another day, you know? <laughs> the show last night was sick. Mm. It was fucking sick. They opened with Yem, and it was just like, they set the tone for the whole show, because the entire show was hot fire. <laughs> it was awesome. Anyway, yesterday Jan and I went to the Mayan ruins, as you saw. It was an all-day affair, and then as soon as we got off the bus, we saw Tom Marshall, who is like the primary songwriter for Fish, like with Trey. And Dan, we like walked past him. I know he's staying here. He's staying like in the palace rich person section. But we walked past him and we're like, Dan and I just looked at each other and I was like, we're like, is that Tom Marshall? We're like, it is. So we did what anybody would do. We ran up behind him as close as possible and sent, took a photo and sent it to our friend. We definitely didn't introduce ourselves <laughs> like fucking losers. <laughs> After the show, we went night swimming at this pool. The pool right near our room is where they're doing like the late night like, beach night party. So basically it's just like beats and there's a lifeguard on duty. But um, but yeah, so we went swimming there and that was really fun to just like go swimming after a show. And we ate a lot of tacos. So the food like in the regular resort is, you know, resort food. You guys saw what happened with those chicken nuggets. But the food in the show is so good. It's just like all this taco shit and churros and like, you know, when you don't have to pay, lines move very fast and it's just like boom, boom. They have vegetarian, vegan, regular, like meat. Tonight is the third and final show. So we're going to show all of it. We're leading up to this moment. I'm gonna give it to you. I wanna give it to you good. Something else that's kind of funny and cool that I've noticed Obviously, I don't really know Spanish. I know muy, muy poquito Spanish. Just the basics. Hello, howdy doody, like bathroom, beer, pollo, chicken, sacapuntas, pencil sharpener, papel, paper. Siéntense mi cada. Sit on my face. But other than that, you know, I don't really know much, but I've found that well, first of all, saying thank you and hi, how are you is goes a long way. But it's funny because, like, you get drunk at the shows because they just bring you drinks the whole night, which is also really great. And I start making the same small talk with, like, staff members, like, at the porta potties that you would do in America, like, where I'm drunk and I'm, like, waiting for a bathroom and I turn to, like, the lady, I'm like, hola, como estas? Also, I haven't really showed the room, but, I mean, it's, like, it's a room. We're in the... Poor people section of the rich hotel, you know what I mean? You ready to eat, Dan? Ready, Freddy. What are you singing? <laughs> okay, guys. If you put that in a fucking video, I'll kill you. <laughs> okay, guys, so. We did almost nothing since we last checked in. We got some rice and bean, rice and bean, and then we, um, oh, my Spanish has been on point, by the way. Tell them, Dan. Muy bien. And then when we were getting beach towels, Dan was like, uh, dos gracias. And then the girl in front of us goes, can I have four? Thanks. Bitch, how hard is it to say cuatro gracias? It's not hard. I just checked to make sure. I'm even bad at math and Spanish. I'm like, oh, dos tres cuatro. <laughs> Change of plans today. We did go in the ocean and that was great, really nice. Dan like took a chunk out of his foot on our first day here, so like 
He's being a little bit about pussy about My it. My foot's swollen. <laughs> He's not swollen. It is swollen. Men cannot handle discomfort. That's why they're really bad when they get cold. So yeah, that's what I've realized. Yeah, I got a huge gash on my foot. I know, but like you're just like, oh, it's swollen, it's swollen. Like it it's, is swollen. It's oozing some weird shit. It's pu it's pus. It's your white blood cells going to the top to create new skin, bro. Look, it's going all over my fucking flip flop. All right, do you want to go to the medics? What do they think they're gonna do? <laughs> We did some exploring and we actually found the legitimate lunch buffet. Turns out the buffet we've been eating in the last few days is just like snacks, which is why I've just been eating tuna and rice and beans. This place has chicken and steak. has seafood and just like meals. Like more of a meal, like a salad. And we're like, oh, okay. I would have been really annoyed if we came all this way and like spent like a good amount of coin and never found like the appropriate buffet and that's why why the snack buffet was closed last night when we were trying to eat there because this is the one that's been open we're so stupid anyway all right it's like 7:15. We're heading into the show. This is probably the latest we've gone each night, but I'm pretty full. I don't really feel the need to eat. We ate so many tacos in the show last night. We'll save that for set break. But we're heading there now. Oh, we have to get changed first too, but I'm gonna try to show you as much as possible when we're walking into the show because I haven't, you haven't seen it yet. This is the lobby. Okay, everyone, it's Sunday night. <sighs> the most epic fish show of all time took place last night. It was an amazing run. I had not seen them in like a year and a half. And it was everything we would have hoped for and more. At this point, I'm completely disgusted by all the buffet food. Kind of happened like the first day and we're ready to go home and I'm ready to eat something crunchy like a salad So there's a few things that I wanted to make sure I mentioned in this video that I wrote down as some closing thoughts and opinions When we got here the employee that was bringing our stuff to our room and walking us to our room He was like yeah fish and the dead like they're so nice everyone's so great like we love them We love the people that come Dave Matthews band was here last week and he's like yeah no no good no bueno and I've heard that so many times, people talking shit on the Dave Matthews Band fans. I've seen the band recently and like, I didn't notice any particularly assholeish people, but I just think it's really cool that Fish fans are known for being very nice. And anytime they play runs at like venues or Madison Square Garden or whatever, you always end up talking to some of the employees there and they're always like, oh no, it's so great, like everyone's so nice. I'm happy that I'm a part of a community that is known to be not douchebags. You know, it's nice. You spend a lot of money to see a band and you follow them around and you want to know that, that you're leaving a good impression, so. I didn't talk about the shows a ton because, I don't know, talking about fish shows, 
I don't like it because I don't have the words to describe it. You have to be there. And I'm not one of those people that's like, this nine, did this nine, you gotta sound a lot like 98 and you gotta do this. No, I'm not, that's not me. It's just a feeling and a moment and like, yeah, the shows were sick. Like, I don't know how else to describe it. Throughout the weekend, there was like two or three different groups, like two or three couples that we met that uh, we like stood by at the show. There was these, this one couple that we became buddies with. And what was so crazy is that last night, Dan and I went to a spot and we looked and every set of couples that we had met that were East Coasters, like Boston area, were all standing there. They were like, oh, hey, like, and they didn't know each other. It was just like, we all like psychically came together in this weird way where it's like, that's what it is. Like, that's what it is with this shows. It's like the magic. It's like the, it's like something in the air that makes things like that happen where you're like, oh shit, oh shit. Even this couple that we briefly talked to on, on our excursion were behind us and it was just like, oh my God. And also there was no glow sticks at the show, which I thought was very funny and strange to be at a fish show with no glow sticks. You know, trips like this, it takes work and it takes travel and it's like a pain in the ass and it was like an all day affair to get here. It's gonna be an all-day thing tomorrow. Not every part of a trip or an activity or a vacation or whatever is fun. But the point is that it's an experience. If you want the reward of something like this, you gotta go through the also shitty parts. When Dan and I went to the ruins on... Uh, Friday? Was that a fun day? I mean, not really. It was like a five-hour round-trip bus ride. And it was hot. And... There was a lot of walking and standing and shit, but already looking back, we're like, oh my God, we did that. Look at these pictures. Like, oh, and we have funny stories from it. And it's like a memory. So I guess what I'm trying to say is you work, work, you work, you gotta get, make that money. And you just are so bombarded all the time with trying to pay your bills and like all your annoying to-do items of every day. And you get so bogged down by all the chores that it's easy to just be like, oh, it's too much work to go do something else, to go plan something fun. But what I'm saying is, what is the point of all of it? There is no point of any of this if not to just have fun and connect with other people and laugh with them and have a good time and like make funny memories. I don't know, like I just feel like they're working and all that shit is not real. It's just a weird distraction we came up with because it's like we need something to do and it's a way to make money, but it's not fucking real. It's made up. What's real is experiencing things with other people and having a good time and doing all that shit. I got to tell you, I don't see the point in working 40 plus hours a week if you're not actually going to have some fun. So that's my takeaway. We had a fabulous trip. We have been dreaming about doing this for years, and the fact that we were finally doing it last night with the moon hanging low to our left over the ocean and our favorite band playing and these cool people that we just met, and it was just like, wow, we fucking did it, you know? So, I'm signing off. <laughs> Do you have anything to add? Nope. Was that powerful? Yeah, I liked it. Thank you. All right, guys, thank you for watching this episode of Angel's Anything Show. And if you want, follow me on Instagram at AngieKB because there'll be some more pictures from the trip on there. And I will see you all next time. Hasta luego! show last night I went to get beer at one of the little beer booths and I was like waiting and the chick was pouring it and I was trying to be polite and I was like hola como esta and she was like uh, bien bien you too and I was like bien and then she was like tu es consada something like that and I was like what does that mean and she's like you're tired and I was like did this bitch just insult me in espanol no one tells a girl they look tired, and every girl knows that. It doesn't matter what country you live in. She basically told me that I looked like a piece of shit.